So before we start, this isn't clickbait, I'm genuinely just this stupid. Look at that. Turn it into sludge. Uh, hell. What have I done? Dumb idea. I'm gonna get my ass absolutely kicked. So much sugar. First of all, a big thank you to 360 for sending me their seemingly indestructible vacuum. This thing works with She That She Not Be Named and Google Assistant for voice control, can work on schedules, has triple eye lidar for room mapping, has a 520 litre water tank for mopping, auto carpet detection, and an ultra low profile design that will allow it to fit under practically anything. It's an absolute beast of a vacuum with great software to boot. So why did I fill it with wet sugar? Look at the state! Oh no! Hashtag dumbass. So I watched a professional vacuum cleaner channel. Yes, they exist. And they've got like a camera suspended from the ceiling and they just threw salts all over the floor and let the RoboVac clean it up. And I thought, I could do that. I'm a professional. So I sellotaped my camera to my ceiling and threw sugar all over my kitchen. Sugar isn't the same thing as salt. <laughs> so this vacuum uses three separate LiDAR cameras to draw a 3D map of your room so that it can take the most efficient possible route to get your room clean. Get to the bit where you ruin your kitchen. In a minute, I'm satiating my sponsor. The LiDAR helps it to avoid objects and take the best possible path. It also has automatic carpet detection sensors so that it knows not to mop those areas, and its suction modes can be set between efficiency and max strength. Max strength does an amazing job on normal household dust, and I imagine it probably would have nailed a bag of salt. Didn't throw a bag of salt on the floor, did I? It's an irreparable That's state. Uh, it won't go back in. That's the bit removed. That's the bit removed. Oh, it's like glue. Sugar and salts are two very different things. And it turns out that no vacuum cleaner on Earth will pick up all of the sugar. And what it does collect, it'll sick back up, like Charlie Sheen after a night out. I don't know, man. I was banging seven gram rocks and finishing them because that's how I roll. I have one speed, I have one gear. Go. Is Charlie Sheen still famous? No. No, he's not. But worse than all of this, it turns out that when sugar comes into contact with moisture, it turns into raw evil. Which leads me on to my next enormous mistake. I engaged the mopping function. I thought that somehow, magically, the moisture would make little clumps of sugar that would somehow be collected into the bin that I could just then empty out. This is not what happened. <laughs> oh no, this was just a huge error. Hello darkness, my friend. No. <laughs> I can't <laughs> talk <laughs> with you again. Oh god. <laughs> I'm so sorry, 360 Robo back. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> Why? Sometimes her cheerfulness is just plain sexy. Turned on. Charging. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you filthy girl. And sometimes her cheerfulness is ironic because you have destroyed her with wet sugar. Cleaning makes me happy. <laughs> <laughs> it <makes> me happy. <laughs> After a good hour of abusing this vacuum, I realised that she was just smearing a sugary mess around my kitchen floor and occasionally throwing up. Go. <gasps> this vacuum comes with three washable mop heads and a 520 milliliter water tank, which I imagine is perfect for mopping up salt. And so I figured I only had one option. You want to get ants? That's how you get ants. This was my third big mistake. Running large electrical items under the hot tap is a bad idea. Don't do this. I'd love to say that this thing was so robustly built that it withstood this torrent of abuse. But the truth is, the hot tap f***ed it dead. F***ed it dead t-shirts are now available to buy at paulhibbert.co.uk. 
This vacuum is seriously well built. I honestly thought I was going to wake up the next morning and find it had sprung back to life. It has these enormous wheels that belong on a tank, and the battery was still at 74% after about two hours of continuous use, which is fairly incredible. Unlike most LiDAR-based vacuums, it doesn't have a turret on top, which means that despite its amazing capabilities for room mapping, it still has the low profile of a non-LiDAR robot, and it's just 3.35 inches high. It's got sensors on it for detecting carpets too, which means that you can tell it to avoid mopping those areas. And on quiet mode, it's easily more quiet than my S5 Max at just 60 decibels. And yet, at 3300 PA, it is one of the most powerful vacuums on the market. This thing is way more powerful than a Roomba 980 or the Mi Robot from Xiaomi. This is... This is the best vacuum I've ever owned. And I killed it. I killed it dead. The app is brilliantly laid out, and once again, probably the best I have seen to date. The 3D maps function is something I have never seen on any other app. It has cleaning reports, multi-story management to allow you to place it upstairs or downstairs and have it remember those maps, and remote control mode so that you can fight them with your friends. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm easily amused. The only potential downside from a software perspective is that if you're of a particularly sober disposition, you might find her a little bit too cheerful. Cleaning makes me happy. I'm vacuuming your house! Yeah! <laughs> I'm glad you're dead. After a while, the chirpiness becomes slightly annoying. But don't worry, you can set quiet times for this thing and just set them to be all day every day, and then you'll have a perfect vacuum. The software for the LiDAR functionality is absolutely awesome too. If you don't trust her to make the decision for you that that room is carpeted and that room is laminate, then you can actually draw the carpets for yourself on the 3D map. This functionality is mind-blowingly good. This is also the first robot that I've been sent that keeps track of the lifetime of the accessories in a visual way, so that you can have a look for yourself in the app how long you've got left before you need to replace the filters or the brushes according to the manufacturer's recommendations. I am gutted that I have wrecked this thing. I've been screaming at my S5 Max. Why couldn't it have been you that died instead of your sister? <laughs> bit dramatic, I know. But I genuinely wish that I had thrown the S9 Max down to suck up all of that wet sugar, because 360 have absolutely nailed this robot. This is easily the best vacuum I have ever owned, and a little piece of me died when I killed it. Vacuums, man. They suck. I'm just in the middle of editing this video and I looked over at the thing and thought, why don't I just pull it to bits and see if I can clean it up? So I did. I opened the thing up and I disconnected and reconnected the internal battery. It's alive. She might be a bit of a sticky girl, but... What? That's not sexual. And anyone that thinks that it is needs to take a long, hard look at themselves. Dude, you just said long and hard. <laughs> That's it. This is the most robust vacuum I have ever owned. I have put it through so much shit, and it's still running. If you're interested in buying one of these things, as usual, there are links in the description as to where you can pick one up. In the meantime, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. That'll tell YouTube's algorithms it was a good video and more people should see it. If you wanna see some more of this guy, hit that subscribe button and ding that bell. If you ding the bell, it lets YouTube know that you want to be notified when I upload videos. These incredible people here are my patrons from Patreon. And seriously, I say this every week, I couldn't do this without them. There would be no channel if there were no patrons. If you want to be one of those incredible people, you can do that at either Patreon or buy me a one-off beer at PayPal. And either way, I'll flipping well love you forever. These are my Facebooks and my Twitters and my Instagrams. Come and hang out there and we can be best friends. See you next time. If you've watched this whole video thinking, I wonder where that gash in his forehead came from, Nisha was actually okay with the whole situation. 
but Mr. Socky doesn't like ants in the house. <laughs> Hashtag major dumbass. Hashtag idiot. Hashtag moron. <laughs> how, many, how many insults can I give myself in one day? Hashtag imbecilic dork. <laughs> Hashtag imbecilic idiot dork moron. Yeah! I'm vacuuming your house! Yeah! <laughs>